so far. They're filthy. I don't know why they're that filthy. I'm gonna go buy a gas station. Pay three hundred dollars for gas right now. <laughs> <laughs> like your bike's on the roof. Mine's gonna. I don't want mine to get all scratched. Ugh. It's inevitable. It's already scratched. What's inside of my window so dirty? Oh my! What the hell? <laughs> I mean, that's dog nose. All right, let's get gas. Turn it off. We're getting diesel. We're packed full. You want a bully? We're not selling it. I'm selling this. Dino Via Bar. It's yours for $275. $275. That ain't mine then. <laughs> <laughs> or you can have this burrito. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Uh, we're here at Emerald Valley. We're here with Anthony. He's in the Frogtown video ripping. Anyway, I don't know what's going on stereo, but we just set up our booth. There's other stuff going on. Mike Moran is here, Daryl Young's here. There's a bunch of stuff here. So the, the, the stereo is going nuts, but we're gonna walk around, look at some bikes, talk to some dudes, and uh, just check it out today. These aren't the OG ones because they're not flat. These That's are right. These are second gen, but second they gen. still are one These inch spindle. Aren't they? Yeah. Those are techniques. Yeah, dude, they're all spindle. So, Riley, what's up with yeah. this sprocket? Uh, Here, this talk. was uh, Mike Lund's sprocket. This is original first production Ebco, Ebco sprocket. Before they were Ebco? Yep. Yes, Jeremy had a name for it, 777. The DSS, I'm not too sure about, but that was the first one off the mill out of Burley. Okay. Right, as production. So Mike Lund rode the hell out of this thing. I ended up getting it and riding it forever. But the special th thing about the Ebco sprockets were the teeth were really tall. Yeah, and that turned into this. Ebco, yeah. Um, I also have original 44 missing a couple teeth. Oh, with the more holes too. Yeah. So kind of like, you know, you, you watch it kind of go down the hill. The 36. You know that was kind of that was had the sprocket guard on it but yeah these were big man I mean, yeah that's, that's sec a, second gen second gen yeah hey holmes how you doing really all right cool thanks riley hey. that's a 1992 power light p61 full chromo it's got the american bottom bracket um, it's not totally period correct got some old wheels on it but check out that sweet zero nine plate baby Thing looks good. That so, thing is. A couple sick. more things to go on it, but this is the race bike for the day. Hell yeah. Yep. Yep. Here at That's sick. All right, thanks. We got flight, Amy Grips. We will have some OG. What is that? National Boy stuff. We'll get it over here on the Yeti shaved ice is in the house, right up in the front over here. Go over there and get some shaved ice. You know you're gonna have it. We're gonna add some Amy grips to this table, Brad. Hey. All right, you want to grab this little guy and we can chat about it because I've never. Right, pull this out. Yeah, I've seen they did cruisers in these, right? Yeah, they got cruisers as well. Okay, so what year is this one? Eighty-five. Eighty-five. And 85 slingshot, original paint, original chrome floor, original slingshot bars. And where were the, do you know where these were made? I cannot remember. Greendale Bicycle Company, I know that much. This one's got the original sticker. It looks like uh, originally went to Rosedale, Maryland. Oh, wow. And so these 
I mean, they're a wild frame, but what is this piece here? What's that made out of? I believe it's some kind of rubber. I have another one at home, actually, that I've taken apart. It's some kind of composite rubber that and has some flex to it, so that way when you're... You're riding. When you're riding, I mean, I guess, what what, what did they say? Like, you just launch off the, the starting gate, and that's what the whole design <laughs> was. I think most of them broke, though. <laughs> yeah, I wonder, if, I wonder if this on them eventually, like, gets bad and, like, Probably like any old rubber type material, probably wears down over time. Yeah. Well, cool. I just saw the bike and wanted a little yeah, more info dude, on it because no it's, it's a wild one. And then, uh, you know, that that guy right there is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. So, 85 Robbie. Yeah. You, you look at that blue GT tire over there for it? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. actually still kind of soft. It is. So, yeah. All right, cool. All right, Chad. Thank you, buddy. Take Appreciate it. All right, Doug, we want to pull, pull this DY out here in the sun. It's All right. it's pretty. Yeah, it's a pretty bike. Let's look. Uh, what year is this so one? This is an 85 James C. Daryl Young. All right. And, uh, you know, Daryl being our homegrown hero, um, James, he's really big in the Northwest. Yep. And, and every kid that idolized and, you know, wanted to be like Daryl you know bought one of these bikes so they sold a heck of a lot of them in the pacific northwest is this one did this did this frame come out of portland this frame i don't know the origin of this yeah i do have a friend uh greg folk that believes that he owned this bike sold it to the midwest and then i bought it from a guy out in new york but he greg thinks that he had this painted okay and that this is his bike because this bike was originally chrome okay yeah yeah, yeah, and yeah I had one as a kid, and mine was white, and they only made 72 white ones. And uh, mine ended up in uh, Australia in about 2000. And uh, 10 years, maybe 20 years later, I decided I've got to get my childhood bike back. Yeah, you got to get the DY living yeah, up in the Northwest. Absolutely. All right, well, hey, thank you for talking to me about you this. Got it. Maybe we'll talk about that one a little bit later. You got it. All right, cool. Thanks. Thank yeah. you. We've got some national pro stuff that's going to be coming up on the table too, Will Sturdo. Get it up here, man. Let's rock. Okay, so we were just talking about this time. What year Diamondback is this? 1979 Diamondback Large Pro. Okay, so tell me the story about this guy. So, okay. This was in a basement of a house that a lady bought so she brought the bike to a local bike collective which i then walked into saw it sitting there and i'm like yo i'll take that what is that and it's got first gen tries tries with the sleeve and these feel like they're brand new exactly i mean exactly I was sitting in a basement and uh you know just showed up at a bike collective the lady uh had no use for it and so i certainly did and I'm blown away on how nice the cranks and rims are. It's a pretty slick bike. It rides well, too. It rides well, too. I'd yeah, I mean, it's not super, super tiny, you know, yeah, to where... Yeah, The stem helps out a lot. And I had some different bars on it when I was riding it around. Yeah. Um, but then when I decided I probably shouldn't be racing it, Yeah. being a man of my stature, <laughs> I decided uh, to just put it back to original. Well, it looks nice. Well, thank you, my friend. All right, thank you. Appreciate it.
first gen. Yeah, I didn't know they, so this is 88. 88. And I, I never even knew, A, I thought they came out in 89, but I, nope. that's, that's wild that they brazed those. Yes, this is all the first generation. It's got a first generation hub on it, which is slightly different than the 89s also. Okay. The Asahi bladed spokes. Oh, wow. Which is something quite unique on that also. So this bike is as tech as it gets for 88. Pretty much, yeah. And what were you saying about the bottom bracket? Oh, still See red, line, red stamp. line stamp on it. So yeah, yeah Lynn had just pulled that yes. stuff over. Look at their dropouts, red line dropouts. But they are red line drops. Yep, just like these bikes across from us over here. And then this is what, an 89? 89. So the Both of those are oh yeah, the I forgot the drops are completely different. Yes. That's when you went with the pin drops. Wow. Yeah, that bike's awesome. Was that yours? No, no. I these were before after my days. Okay. I'm a first decade okay. guy, but I just love this Yeah, these, these are awesome. I, yeah. I was a GT and JMC guy. Okay. That's what I raced. And yep. something more like this. Yep, yep. So that, what's that, about 82? 82, 82. 82. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that I bike's nice too. I traveled around with Clarence Perry for a little while. Oh, That's awesome. That's what I think of when I see one of these. This is a Clarence Perry bike. I love the plate too. Yep, that's our that's my old district even. Nice. Washington too. Well cool, thank you for talking to me about these. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Alright, so Gary from BMX hey. Museum just pointed out this is all the bikes from the Goonies. Yeah. Which one's your favorite, Gary? Murray. I like the Murray too. The pads look nice on that well, thing. Well, this is pretty awesome. Oh oh oil God. slick. That's funny. Yeah. This is just a Murray also, but it's yeah. messed up a bit. This is my favorite bike. Favorite movie of all time. Yeah. AKA the only movie I watch. <laughs> well, that's pretty dope. All the Goonies bikes. So the four Murrays, actually. Uh, yep. No, it might be a Western fire. I know it's it's got it's Murray Cisse. Yeah. Old guys, all on old bikes, man. It's gonna get hairy and scary. The wind is ripping, and yeah, yeah, all that stuff I just said.
Shout out Greg Higgins with that piece of pipe. That thing is nice. <laughs> All right, let's see the wheelie. <laughs> he already hurt his knee at Frog Town. He doesn't need to be stomping it out. Seriously. Yeah. I never got one. I never got one. Never wheeling machine. <laughs> 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 Are you out? Yeah. Alright, I'll see you, buddy. Look at this thing. How was it, Shad? It was fun. It was fun. We sold everything. I wish. I don't know how to lock this, so uh, you're gonna help an old man out. Whatever. <laughs> I'll carry it over.